Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Iron Blood Cuisine. Today we're going to be making meatloaf using our jerk sauce. Welcome back, Daddy. Thanks, baby girl. It's great to be back. So to start out today, we're going to be using a pound and a half of ground beef. This is a 9 to 10 grade. And to that, we're going to add some uh, one egg and a couple pinches of salt and pepper. I guess mm -hmm. I'll take over now. Yeah, you can take over. We're going to add a half cup of breadcrumbs, a quarter cup of salsa. Wipe that out. Yeah. Okay. A tablespoon of brown sugar. And the star of the show. Yeah. Our jerk sauce. We're going to be using. How much are we using? Tell the people, Naman. We're using... A half cup. All right. So once we have our ingredients here now, we're gonna start mixing. Get in there and break things up. Make sure you don't wanna squeeze your meat together. You wanna have a go slide through your finger while you're mixing them. So I noticed that today we're only using beef. Can you use multiple types of meat? Certainly. Mix it? Yeah, a lot of times when you get uh, meatloaf in restaurants, mm -hmm. what they will do is mix it. They'll use beef and veal, mm -hmm. which is the veal is a younger cow. Mm -hmm. And then, or they'll use bacon to wrap it. Or they do a. I like bacon. Yeah, <laughs> bacon is good. People use variations of turkey or pork. Mm -hmm. uh, pork and beef are a good combination. A lot of our, our guests or our, our, our fans are beef lovers um so they'll stay away from the pork yeah we don't want to press that together just yet okay all so right so pretty? it looks good but we're going to mix it in a little bit more because we want it evenly distributed you can change your gloves there and okay. get rid of this for me please so what type of breadcrumbs are you using today i used uh panko breadcrumbs and to the you can use your regular seasoned breadcrumbs or plain plain breadcrumbs or when you use that, you don't want to, um, because of what we're doing here, we want to highlight the flavor of our jerk sauce. And so, so why did you add salsa? Because that was kind of, that was, that was really weird. That's out of left field. So a lot of times, a lot of people out there can't be bothered with cutting up their onions and tomato and adding it to their mixture. Mm -hmm. So that just makes it easier for them to... <clears throat> So it's one less thing or a couple less things to do. Um, that's why we added additional brown sugar because a lot of times you find salsa out there that is salty or high in vinegar. Mm -hmm. So you want to balance it out. You want to balance it out, right? So you want to get sense. that um, meatloaf is a um, homey, down to earth meal. Mm -hmm. So you don't want it too salty or too spicy or anything. And you could, it could be spicy too. So now that we mix it together there and it's evenly distributed. What we're going to do is form it into a, a loaf and put it in our oven at 400 degrees to bake it. And so how long are we baking it for basically then? It takes about 40 minutes to do, but to be on the safe side, you want to make sure that you use a skewer and stick it in the center after you, you bake it or while it's baked. Sure it must come out clean and the aroma is going to be like intoxicating it's just baby it's off the chair <laughs> so one of the things you need to be careful of a lot of times people will make their meatloaves and it will crack mm -hmm. because it's not compact enough so before you put it in your container mm -hmm. what you want to do is make sure that you you try and get out the, the space or air as much as possible okay. and some people will slap it and beat it out Please, yeah. like butter. yeah yeah so once we, we form it into a mold as much as possible and then we're going to just roll it off into our container and so like when that. we bake it does it like shrink or anything or become bigger it's going to shrink oh that's interesting yeah if you put it gets bigger when you bake it <laughs> yeah yeah it's going to well it's going to expand a little bit so it's going to rise mm -hmm. you know from all that and that's why you want to get out the air pockets because Hot air gets trapped and it's going to want to go somewhere. So it's going to blow. Yeah. All right. Sound good. Yeah. But 
Um, traditionally, you will see some people make like ketchup, use ketchup in there mm -hmm. to, to make their So that would be mixer. like a substitute if you didn't use our sauce, right? All right exactly. If you didn't yeah. use our jerk sauce, mm -hmm. you would use a, um, ketchup or some other mixture. All right? So of note, it's good to know that you can... With this, as it's made here, it's ready to go. Okay. So there's no excuse of not having it ready ahead of time, mm -hmm. and you can freeze it. Okay. okay, so for those who are planning meals around the kids and all, and during the week, you're busy, all you need to do is just make it up and put it in your freezer, and you're good to go. Like I said, 385, 40 minutes. It shouldn't take more than 55 minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you put it in the oven. Okay. Should we look at what we did? All right, so we'll put this over here for the camera. Okay. All right. And so, can you, can, I'm listening. Go ahead. So on our plate here, I see we even have even more sauce. Is that considered a lot since we put a lot in here already? No, not really. I mean, we can. There's a lot of ways you can add more as much as you want. Mm -hmm. It's the sauce or the gravy. Um, some people will will. Add it as a, to give additional flavor. And for those who have a dry product, it helps to mask whatever flaws you have. Okay, and so how is it typically served? Typically, you'll serve it like with mashed potato, vegetables. Like we are. Right, or some people will put gravy on it, mm -hmm. like a white gravy. Um, some people make a ketchup or barbecue sauce stuff on there, or in our case. Again, we're using our sauce. Right. All right, so let's put this right here for a moment for the time being. Okay. I'm, a, I'm a lefty, so let's see what we have here. We want to cut cut through there. Um, some people will, when they make their, their meat loaf, mm -hmm. you'll get real dense. You don't want it real dense. I mean, okay? it has a little juice here, but that's okay. Right? Yeah, no, you need juice, man. You need juice. You need flavor. So it's not too dried out. Right. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. And... I'm ready to try this. I know you are, I can tell. So, let me put another piece here, make it sexy. Um, and you want to make sure you don't overcook it, because then it will get rubbery. Mm -hmm. Alright. That looks nice. Yes, it does. And then we just add a little of our sauce on there. Alright, cool, cool, cool. So, here we go, try this. Okay. Right. Oh, I'm gonna put sauce in mine. Okay. <laughs> Extra sauce. I want to make mine a little spicy. You pour some right in the It's not going to be too spicy. It's going to be very flavorful. You have the jerk coming through, and uh, mm. you know. Mmm. That's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Let's tr let's try it. Let me let me try it. Hmm. Good, right? Mm-hmm. Not tight. The flavor permeates through it. And of course, I like the extra flavor. Me too. Yes. Another one by Sedos. This one, good for real. All right, guys. Thank you for joining us. Remember to like, share, share subscribe, subscribe, and, and follow. follow. Check out our website as well. www.adamboycuisine.com You never know. You might find something you want to buy or try. Next time, bye-bye. <laughs>